Liz and Mike from 105.1 The Buzz joining us live. Good morning. Happy Friday. Morning. Good morning, guys. Good morning. All right. That's a wrap. James Corden, he bids final his final farewell to the Late Late Show. It's all said and done. Yeah, last night was his final show. It came on at 12.37 p.m. So I've watched clips here and there. I haven't seen it in its full entirety. Uh, but there were some really big highlights. Seth Meyers, Colbert, Fallon, Kimmel, uh, they all made cameos wishing him luck on his next venture. Told him maybe he should start a podcast. You know, like everybody else. <laughs> like, uh, like that's not a saturated market. Yeah. Right, right. And then Will Ferrell and Harry Styles were the final two guests. They played the game the where you have to eat food and, and or like reveal a secret or whatever. And Harry let everybody know that he's not ever going to say never to a One Direction reunion. Uh, but he didn't say it's happening. He just said he would never say never. Uh, and then probably the best part of the whole night was Tom Cruise, shockingly. Uh, they brought him out. They did like an off-Broadway performance of The Lion King where they played Timon and Pumbaa. And then they had this huge breakup scene. And then uh, afterwards, they sang, Can You Feel the Love Tonight? And it was very produced. It was 19 minutes long. And that I watched in its entirety because it was that good. Oh, <laughs> oh, nice. I haven't seen it yet. I'm going to have to watch it after the show this morning. Yeah. I think it's funny. I mean, he even uh, he even went and saw President Biden there. We were I watching know. some highlights uh, from, from clips from last night. But, but Tom Cruise tops that, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> Maverick. What are you going to do? Well, that's true. Although they do have <laughs> the same glasses. Uh, that's just, that so is, that's a good point. I, I mean, just from the surprise factor and the cameos alone, I, I you know it's a good show. And, and James Corden, he had a good run, you know? And we talked about this earlier in the week. He gave us some of the best viral videos to come out of late night talk show TV in the last decade. So, yeah. you know, I'm sure he'll find something, land on his feet. If not, start a YouTube channel and do something else. <laughs> yeah, I think I think he's going to be all right. Yeah, I mm. mean, he, he did. He did such a good job throughout the, the um, length of the show, kind of keeping his theater roots in there and doing these things like carpool karaoke and crosswalk the musical, mm -hmm. you know, and all this stuff uh, that just really stood out in late night. So totally. I'm sure he will bring that creativity to many more projects. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, well, hey, Ed Sheeran has been dealing with some legal battles this week, and uh, I, I don't know that we've seen this too often. <laughs> He took the stand and then actually sang and played his guitar. <laughs> yeah, it was like the worst Ed Sheeran concert ever because all he <laughs> said was one line. One line, and then he put his guitar down. Uh, this has been really interesting to follow, though. My favorite part is when the judge had to tell the jury they weren't allowed to dance in place anymore. But basically, they're saying that part of one of his songs, Thinking Out Loud, copies part of Marvin Gaye's Let's Get It On. And so they were trying to show that they were different. And then they were also trying to show that they were the same. Like they're kind of going back and forth. And Ed's people say, you can't own the basic building blocks of music. But then the Marvin Gaye people, they brought video out showing where in concert, he actually would play from one song into the next. And they were like, well, yeah, but but he'd be dumb if he was doing that. That would be like admitting it. And so there's just this thing going back and forth. But to know that you could sit on a jury for Ed Sheeran and he'd whip out a guitar. I have served on a jury twice and both times have not been fun experiences. You have? But an Ed Sheeran jury, yes. <laughs> that would be fun. I want, here's the thing, I want to serve on a jury. You're one of those people. I think it'd be you so would be. Fun. And I, every time I've gotten the summons, I look at my number and I log in the day before and my number's not on the list that actually has to go. So. I'm oh. You don't one of the want lucky it. ones you are. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they gave, both cases gave me nightmares for weeks. Like you think, oh, I would like to, you know, participate in this, and then when it happens, you're like, oh. Yeah. Oh, if this uh, is not like Dateline, I don't. Well, I don't County, want to if you're this. if you're listening and I get summoned, Emily's going to my place. Yeah, just know I'll that go, that's go, how that's I'll working. Go, <laughs> <I'll> <laughs> just, you can have those papers. Is that how I that think works? If I was in that jury, I would. It would take everything in my being just to be like. Encore, and you're not guilty. Right. You got one another. <laughs> I'm with him. Yeah, he's, he's I mean, good. I always say if I was rich enough, I would pay Ed Sheeran to sing me to sleep at night. But this is just <laughs> as good. Like you could sit in a jury box or in the jury pool and have him play for you on the on the witness stand. That's amazing. That's pretty fun. To, it's a fun the, memory. The uh, Marvin Gaye estate, the attorneys must be over there just like clenching their teeth, looking at the jury dancing in the jury box <laughs> for the judge to have to tell them, hey, sit still. It's, <laughs> like, it's just a little oh, catchy. Oh, man. Oh, well, man. we'll see what happens. It'll be interesting. All right, guys, brave the heat this weekend. We'll see mm -hmm. you on Monday.
All right, bye, cool. friends. Bye. bye. And you can listen to Liz and Mike every weekday morning on 105.1 The Buzz.